hello. It has been a while. Um, I'm here to put on a little makeup, have a little chat. Got some new makeup brushes uh, yesterday and uh, I'm excited to try them out so I thought this was the perfect opportunity for a video. Um, I wanted to discuss uh, my mental health because as many uh, if you've if you've followed my videos for a little bit you know that ooh, that's a lot of concealer you know that my mental health has been a bit of a journey um, last year I got diagnosed with uh, bipolar 2, uh, which was something that I originally sought help for because I thought I was bipolar, and it uh, turns out I was right, so that is pretty fun, right? I'm going to take this Wet n Wild brush, I got a whole brush at, and I'm just gonna blend this concealer in. Anyways, so the reason I'm making this is because I am finally in a place where I can say that I am doing good. I am finally on the right medications. Uh, it has taken months to find the right ones and the right dosages, but I no longer go through my day-to-day -day incredibly depressed. I haven't felt uh, hypomania in, honestly, I want to say months. Um, anyone else who is bipolar can probably tell you that mania is a very specific sort of feeling. You just feel, the best way for me to describe it, I always feel very fast. I am very fast and um, very energetic, you know, such as mania, obviously. And, uh, it's nice to, um, have slowed down and lessened the roller coaster that I was on because I was very much on a very intense <laughs> emotional roller coaster that would course through ups and downs um, every four days to every couple weeks um, it would kind of change and now I am not depressed every day I haven't felt mania in weeks like I said and I go through my day-to-day -day, honestly feeling good I can tell you despite the pandemic happening and despite the current stresses of my life trying to get on disability which Jesus Christ I could make a whole video on that but um Despite all of these struggles, I can honestly say I'm pretty happy with my life. I can say that I'm pretty happy with where it's going. Um, I have finally figured out what I want to do as a career you know obviously I'd still like this and my shop to go somewhere 
but in college I have struggled for the last three years since I graduated to really figure out what I've wanted to do. And I'm proud to say that just a couple weeks ago, I registered for my fall classes and um, changed my major to early childhood education because I have a very big passion to help kids. I believe that kids uh, in today in our society really get the short end of the stick as it, as it were and I think that we need to do better for the children in our lives and um, I want to be one of those people you know um, going to conceal around my brows uh, because I feel like doing a little extra normally I don't even do concealer when I'm doing my makeup to stay at home but uh I'm feeling a little fancy today I gotta tell you anyways I I very strongly uh, want to enrich and protect kids and help them learn about life and themselves and how to, um, what's the right way to say? How to learn how to handle the world because the world is scary as an adult, so it's even scarier when you're a kid, you know? And, um, so I want to explore that career field. Um, I'm kind of thinking that it'd be nice to like work in a daycare. Uh, the goal is to get a degree to be able to teach elementary school, which would still be cool, but I want to start off, I think, uh, along the daycare lines. Or uh, tutoring, actually. I applied for a few tutoring jobs to tutor in English because in my free time I write poetry and I've always been good at English and English is just a strong suit I can absolutely tutor some little kids in how to English good and uh, so yeah it's been very interesting isn't necessarily the right word but it's been very fulfilling to kind of find my thing, you know? And to be in a place where I feel good. Because I didn't feel good for a very long time. And it sucks, and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Well, there's a few people I would wish it on that deserve it. But that's besides the point. I am now uh, medicated, and my medication is right. I have a lovely, wonderful girlfriend of four months, and I am headed down a path that feels good in my education, and subsequently a career, which is weird because I feel like a baby. And I'd really like to um, get back into the swing of videos, you know? I have been very on and off. Um, and admittedly, most of that is my own lack of creativity and such. But I'm trying to care less about perfection, you know? Because I don't need to make perfect things to make things. Does that make sense? <laughs> taking this angled brush and I'm taking color Rebirth 
from the Venus palette. Yes, it's an eyeshadow. And I'm also taking a little bit of shell, that lighter. And we're just gonna blend it out. Anyways, I keep saying anyways. Um, it is really interesting to be medicated now and be in a good place because I can truthfully tell you that in the throes of my mental illness, you know, when I was like 18, 19, I didn't think that, ooh, this looks <laughs> a little extreme on camera. It doesn't look as extreme in real life. Anyways, um, in the throes of my mental illness, I never thought I would really get help. Like, I didn't think that that was an option until after I moved out because it just wasn't something we talked about in my family, really. Things are very different now. Uh, both my parents go to therapy. Um, um, me and my dad both see a psychiatrist and um, things are just a lot different and a lot better and it's really nice to be in that place, you know, because it's just truthfully something that I used to think was impossible and there's really no feeling like the impossible being possible it's just great and i wanted to make this um in case you are just starting your psychiatric journey it gets better it really does uh it was so, it's truly so disheartening to start a medication and have it not work for you. My medication history is not as uh, large as some others, but I've was allergic to the first medication I tried uh, then I got on my current antidepressant and then the first mood stabilizer that I tried made me so restless and ugh, a terrible feeling just all this energy in my chest and need to like get out of my skin and now I'm on the right mood stabilizer and the right antidepressant and the right doses of each. And wow, boy howdy, let me tell you, life is worth living. Um, back in the, the deepest parts of my depression and anybody who has struggled with mental illness can tell you this but when it all seems pointless which it definitely did for me for a long time it's hard to believe that there will ever be a point and there will ever be a day where you don't feel like shit and, uh, I want to tell you, that day comes. You just have to stick around for it. And you just have to be patient and hopefully get the help that you need. And, um, it comes. It takes a long time. It's definitely not a fast process 
but it's worth it in my opinion because I don't want to uh, not exist anymore. I don't spend every day numb and crying and then a couple days later feeling amazing and wondering if I'm going crazy because my mood never seems to stick around. It always changes. Wow, that's crazy. And now I can genuinely say I'm happy in my day-to-day -day existence, you know? And that's something I never thought would happen. Am I just saying the same things over and over in this video? Probably. I'm gonna use this little fluffy brush here to do some highlighting. My feet are falling asleep. <sighs> so, as I'm wrapping this up, I want to say it has been an, I want to say, year and a half long journey to finally be in the place I am now. I made a psychiatrist appointment in a manic episode because I could no longer shake the feeling that I was going crazy because my moods were never stable and I thought I was bipolar. I was finally able to get medicated for my ADHD because I was never medicated as a kid and god I wish I was and I got on the right antidepressants got on the right mood stabilizer and now I through the hard work of my psychiatrist the work of my therapist and some patience and some luck I see a future a relatively clear discernible future for the first time in a very 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 long time it feels amazing and you can get there you know if you're struggling right now just know that uh, you're not alone in that I've been there I was there for a really long time and um, you know I'm never it's never going to be something that is completely gone. I'm never going to be cured of being bipolar. It's never going to go away. I can't live my life without it. It's something that's going to be managed for the rest of my life. And that's scary. Uh, it definitely takes grappling with that diagnosis, the feeling of being diagnosed is euphoric and <laughs> horrible all at once. But it's worth it to get help. It didn't feel worth it. It felt impossible for a very long time. Okay. Thanks for chatting with me. Thanks for listening to me babble about my brain for a little too long, probably. Um, I want to leave this video with the message that you're not alone. 
it will get better as somebody who thought it would never ever get better and I would spend the rest of my life wishing I wasn't here it gets better I look forward to a future now with my beautiful girlfriend I look forward to working with kids in the future and helping them and their lives and I am genuinely in a place where most of the time a good 98% of the time I'm feeling good I still have bad days I still have days down in the dumps and I still have days when I'm in a funk and things just aren't right <laughs> but um, every day isn't hell on earth anymore and that's really nice it's really nice to feel happy and deserving of love and care and uh, more confident than I was. I still struggle with my body image and my eating and um, like I said there it's it's still I still have days of struggling but my life is so much better. Getting help is the best thing I ever did. It saved my sanity. I truly think without getting help when I did I would have lost my mind. So just know you're not alone. It's gonna get better. It just takes time. It takes a little work. And it takes time. But if you're ever struggling and you need somebody to listen, always here. Hit me up on Twitter or Instagram, Tumblr, you know, leave a comment if you're feeling sad. I will listen. I'm always here for you. It gets better. I pinky swear it gets better. Okay. Thanks for listening. I'll see you later.